in this season of Seeking Sister Wife, we have Marcus Epps, and he has a dark past. He is a city councilman, but he was arrested for DV after he landed his hands on another woman back in 2008. So Marcus was arrested and given a bond of $5,000, and he initially pleaded not guilty. But on April 24th of 2008, Marcus was found guilty and did not contest to it. So the $5,000 bond was dropped. However, he was not to have any unlawful contact with the victim in that case. And the Akron clerk of court exclusively told the son that most legal files detailing the trial have been destroyed as it happened over 14 years ago. So in this season, when we were introduced to Marcus, he revealed that he is a elected official in the hometown of Euclid, Ohio. And he's currently the Euclid City Councilman for Ward Number 3. And his political career has had a handful of controversies over the years since he was first elected to office. These controversies include alleged tax evasion, a house fire, and someone passed away after being shot at a legal after-hours club in Cleveland and this was at Marcus and Terrence party they were throwing. So recently after this season of Seeking Sister Wife premiered, a video resurfaced of a woman who was shot and passed away from the result of her gunshot wounds at an alleged birthday party that was being held by Marcus and Taryn. This is a screen grab from the video and we see Marcus here on the left and him and one of his friends is helping carry this lady out of the nightclub. This is body cam footage. I can't show the video because of YouTube policies, but this was shared by Starcasm, which I will leave them linked in the description. You can check out the full video in that article if you'd like. So according to the police report, on October 25th of 2020, there was a shooting at an after-hours club in Cleveland, and three people were reportedly shot by a man who was denied entry into the club by a bouncer, and one victim ended up passing away from her injuries, and another woman was shot in the leg, and a man was shot in the arm. They both survived, and one of the victims is the one that we saw Marcus carrying out with his friend in that picture. She's one of the survivors, and the After Hours Club turned out to be an abandoned building that had been officially condemned a few years prior and was technically owned by the state. So Taryn, one of the girls that Marcus is with, she actually came out and she talked to police and said that she was hosting a birthday party and the police noted that she was being very evasive during questioning. And then Marcus came up to police and he said that he had a lease on the building and court records show that the state foreclosed on the property three years before that, but the former owner is still making $1,000 a month renting the building out to an OFC group. And the OSC group's business license on file with the state lists Taryn Lindsay as the owner, which is one of Marcus's girls. He referred to her to police as his wife, but there's no records of them being legally married, and Taryn still has her maiden name. So five months after the club shooting, Marcus got cut up in another scandal related to a property he was related to. So on March 26 of 2021, a 19-year-old woman suffered minor injuries after a house located in the 2500 block of Tungsten Avenue caught fire. So the property was owned by Marcus and the police returned in July to serve a search warrant at the address. So according to the Euclid Fire Department, Chief Chris Haddock, the search warrant was issued in connection with a house fire and housing code violations. A source told 19 News that work went uncompleted after the fire damaged the home, and they said according to a source who is not permitted to speak on the record, Marcus Epps is accused of committing obstruction of justice, and we're told misdemeanor charges will be filed. So Marcus said that the search warrant was just all political blowback because he was pushing for police to wear body cams. He spoke with 19 News after the incident, and he said it's all political. It's all about at our next city council meeting, I'm trying to mandate body cameras by our officers. And the day before this search warrant was executed, I was in the mayor's office going in on them about a demolition project that started on Euclid Avenue, and it's a catastrophe. And Marcus Epps was officially charged with multiple housing violations in January of this year. And not only that, Marcus is also being accused of tax evasion as well. In March of this year, a Fox 
eight I team check property tax records for every mayor and council member in Marcus's County, making up hundreds of elected officials. And the investigation uncovered that 16 elected officials were behind on paying their taxes. And out of the group, Marcus was the one who owed the most, owing over $12,000 in taxes. So the news ended up reaching out to Marcus and he brought up the house fire and described his family recent situation as a struggle but when county records were looked into by the news they showed Epps has not paid any property taxes since 2019 and that was well before the house fire but Marcus insists that he has made payments although the county shows no record of that and he told the news I'm saying we've made payments since 2019 but when they asked for him to show dates and proof of these payments he did not provide any and did not comment anymore. So Starcasm decided to take an extra step and they decided to check the county property tax records of the county that Marcus lives in and they found that a Euclid property belonging to Marcus and a woman named Latricia is currently owing quite a bit of property taxes. The amount owed is listed as $14,000 $668.01 with $12,438.70 of that being delinquent taxes and penalties. And that property that he owes all that property tax on is the same property that ended up catching on fire. So pretty much the place caught on fire and he quit paying his taxes and taking care of the place. But that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to talk about all that. I figured I'd be able to find something about him because when you're a councilman member, people really do their digging. And a lot of people have already <laughs> exposed Marcus for things he's done in the past. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.